guys, it's the last vlog! So here is the final piece that I've been working on for the past two months. So my Rube Goldberg machine, it goes down and then it goes up to the whiteboard parts. And then it goes back down again, and its final goal is to press the candy machine. I have a total of five inclined planes on my Rube Goldberg machine, as you guys can see where the arrows are pointing. I also have two pulleys, one small, one big. And I have two levers. Throughout 1 to 5 of my Rube Goldberg machine, the gravitational energy just decreases while the kinetic energy increases. All the way till step 3 where it stops for 0.01 seconds and then increases again and then stops when it hits to the 5th step. The gravitational energy increases while the kinetic energy stops at step 8 and then increases again. The kinetic energy slowly increases and stops when it hits the button, while the gravitational energy slowly decreases. Physics is always linked to Rube Goldberg machine, and one of them is friction. Friction plays a great role in these inclined planes and my pulleys. In the beginning, I was going to make my inclined planes out of this kind of board, which is really smooth and flat and barely has any friction. But later on, I found out that all my marbles are growing too fast, and so I changed the material with, and changed it into this. Um, you can kind of see that it has some kind of pattern, wave lines, on the board, so it adds friction which then leads the marble to go slower, and that's a good thing. The next one I'm going to talk about is air resistance. We'll then later on link to force. And I am going to use this as an example. A smaller marble goes through the funnel, which will then hit a big pool ball and cause it to roll down the inclined plane. The smaller the air resistance is, the bigger the force is. And we want greater force. So instead of using this big marble, I decided to may use this smaller marble because the less surface area, the less air resistance. So it would have a greater force which would be able to push the big heavy pool ball. So now I'm going to talk about direction. Every moving object in the universe will have a direction, and those directions can be changed. So by using a degree system, the top is 0 degrees, the bottom is 180 degrees, the right is 90 degrees, and the left is 270 degrees, which makes a cross. I'm going to show you some of my steps in my Rube Goldberg machine that changes direction. The pool ball rolls to 270 degrees and then drops to 180 degrees. The smaller pulley goes up to 0 degrees and then goes to 250 degrees. The bigger pulley goes down to 180 degrees and turns to 0 degrees. And now it's the time for the all great awesome! <laughs> so I'm going to calculate the force and pressure of the funnel step. Inside the funnel, there's already placed a small marble. So when the bigger marble rolls down into the funnel, the force will cause the small marble to drop down. So let's calculate the force first. Force equals F times MA. So first, for the ball to drop down, it's 0 0.5 seconds times 0 0.98, which is the gravitational force, and then times 0 0.05 newtons, which also equals to 0 5 grams. And then it equals to 0 0.025 newtons. And by the way, it is rounded up. And for pressure, it is force divided by area. 
So I took the force that I have already calculated, which is 0.025 newtons, and I divided by the diameter of the marble, which is 2.5 cm, and it equals to 0.01 pascals. And I calculated the work done too. But this time, it's not gonna be marbles anymore. This time, it's Domino's turn. To calculate the work done, the equation is force times distance. So in the beginning, I already calculated the force done by a single poker, which is 0.924 newtons. And then I times it with 0.05 meters, and it equals to 0.015 joules. And by the way, it is also rounded up. And that is that. This is the last moment of my final vlog. Just want to say this is a super fun project. I'm so proud of myself of making this Rube Goldberg machine. And I think it's worth putting my time and effort into this project. Bye guys! Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.